y'all doing tonight? This evening, we're going to cook some chicken fried steak with some purple hull peas, some homemade mashed potatoes, and some green beans. It's going to be a real good hearty meal here. I'm going to try to make some homemade gravy. If y'all stay with me here, I'm going to kind of bring you through. All right, now the first thing we want to do here in this recipe, you know it's a good recipe, but the first thing you want to do is fry up some bacon. Just fry these bacon bits up here. We'll use these bacon bits to flavor the black-eyed peas or the uh, purple hull peas. We're also going to use some of this oil to help fry the, chick uh, the chicken fried steak. It's going to be real good all around, so we're going to fry up some bacon here. So as you can see, I'm just kind of letting this uh, these bacon bits cook here. And I, I, I'm using this little cook, uh, what do you call it, little induction cooktop portable thing I, I found. I think this would be cool for little videos and stuff like this just to help kind of spread things around. Especially when I'm cooking with my cast iron. So it works really well with that. But I just wanted to kind of use this in this video and give it a test, see how it does. Okay, so the bacon's done here. We're gonna let that bacon grease kind of cool in that pan for a minute. Now for the purple little peas, I gotta come over here to the gas stove because I only kept my cast iron right now and work on that induction. The way you test it to see if a, a magnet will stick to is this old cheap stuff here ain't gonna work. First, I'm gonna do is put some of these bacon bits down. You know, this bacon is really going to flavor these purple holes. Fat with tape, we'll put them all in here. Now, let me get the purple hole, please. Now, I tell you, I was really proud of my purple holes this season. Did really well. So I got some frozen ones here. A little zip top bag. Let's put these here. And bust them ones apart and stuck together. Let's pour some. I got some chicken broth here. Pour some of that. In here. Maybe a little bit of water. Let me get some water. I just put some water in this chicken broth container here. Basically what you want to do, you just want to cover them with water just to the top of the peas. Let me see. And then we're going to bring this to a bowl for a couple minutes. Just some top of them peas, maybe just a little bit more water. Now, I'm going to bring that to a bowl. I want these peas to come to a bowl and I'm going to bowl for about two, three minutes. Put them on one of the back burners, leave them, cover them, leave them on simmer for about 45. I'm gonna cut some green beans. Uh, first off, we got a little undo of sausage that we sauteed earlier. I didn't get that on camera, but I did saute some. Put that in the bottom for seasoning. Now, I'm gonna use these Allen's green beans. I don't have any fresh green beans, but Allen's is a real good brand. This is um, cut Italian green beans. So, we we'll just use these in their juice. Yep. Some good stuff there. We'll just let those simmer. Might put a little more water in there or something. Some mashed potatoes we'll make as a side. I got all these red potatoes. I boiled them earlier, you know, until they just became soft and you just cut them with this wooden spoon like that. Put a crab boil in there with them. And salt. Drain that off. We're going to make mashed potatoes out of these here in just a bit. We're going to start working on the battering station for the uh, country fried steak. i got about three eggs here cracked. I'm going to add a little bit of slap your mama to it. You don't have this, you use seasoning salt. Something. You can just use salt and pepper. But put a little bit of seasoning in that and I'm going to scramble them on up. Take your fork and just get these all scrambled up. Got these eggs scrambled up here. Move these to the side and start with the flour. Got your first flour bowl, and this is what you use, call a base coat flour. Add a little bit of flour to it. Just regular self-rising flour. 
So as far as flour, we got the starting flour here. We don't put any seasoning in that. Got what I'm gonna call my finishing flour right here. I'm gonna put some pepper in it. Grinds there. Maybe a little bit of the sloppy mama. Whatever, you can put seasoning salt if you want to. And maybe just a little salt. All right, now the steak that we're going to use, I've got some USDA choice, uh, bottom round. And it's already been tenderized, if you notice there. So, I'll show you how we're going to do this. Nice big pieces here. Let me find someone to set this. So we're going to take this, and the first thing we're going to do, we're going to put an egg back. Hold on just a second. Sorry, I made a mistake. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna put it into this, this starter flour over here. Get a little bit of flour on it. Just a light coat. Then we go into the egg bath. Move this forward. Get the egg wash on here with all that good seasoning and everything. Thirdly, we're going to go to the finishing flour here. So you can see that. Let's get all this egg dropping off of there. Move this fork. Let's try just to get it. This is the finishing coat of flour on here with the seasoning. A nice little coat on each side. Try not to get too much of it on your hands so it'll stick. Leaving the sides there. Let's finish the coat. Now I've got a little rack over here. I don't know if you can see it. I'm gonna wash my hands. It's really hard to batter something and then try to film. We should get a cameraman. I don't know if you can see this rack. I've got like a cookie sheet drying rack over here. So I'm gonna set, set it right there for the meantime. Let me get the rest of these done. Got them all battered up here on this baker's rack. We're gonna get them ready to fry. But I added a little bit of vegetable oil to this grease that was already in here, you know, that bacon grease and everything. So we give it some good flavor and let that heat up just for a minute. We're gonna fry these things. Okay, I think it's hot enough now. Let's go ahead and put a piece in here. See how it does. There we go. Get that to bubbling and frying up. I'm only gonna do a couple of them at a time, I think. Just so I can see how, so I can see how this pan is going to react with this burner here. We we'll get a couple of them here, fine for a couple minutes on each side. Now if they cook a couple minutes on that side, give them a flip. There we go. Now also, you saw how I battered them. Use that technique. It's also a great technique for uh, deer meat. The hunters out there. Uh, the only thing I do a little bit different with deer meat and eggs, instead of just putting the, the uh, sloppy mama or whatever, I put a little bit of rooster shear in the egg for deer meat. Let those cook a little bit more on that side. Now if the crust is turning nice golden brown, I'm going to remove from here. I'm going to set them over on a uh, another drying rack that I've got right here. And we're going to transfer them to the oven here in a second after that. So I just keep doing the batches just like this and keep it going. I got the chicken fried steak just in the oven on about 250. I'm going to do the potatoes. I got the potatoes there. Like I said, I pre cooked them earlier. I had a little bit of milk to them, just whole milk. I like that just to get. It. And I'm turning on about medium heat. Got about four tablespoons of butter. 
Add this to them as well. Just that down in there. Then let's add some salt. Just got some kosher salt here. Sprinkle that on there. We'll heat them dough, dose of it. Maybe some garlic. Squeeze stuff is fine. Come back. Good old heat them tablespoon or so. I'm going to get in here and start kind of doing some mashing. Just breaking these potatoes up. Now I've done other videos of doing this too. It's not that hard at all. It just mashed potatoes. Okay. Now I've got the potatoes mashed up somewhat. One more ingredient. I have some sour cream. I had left in that tub. Let me get a little bit more. A little more of sour cream. There we go. That'll be good. Mash it just a little bit more. Now, I don't want my potatoes to be totally smooth, but I want to get the big, big chunks out. Now let's get in there with a spoon. Let's see if something. Gonna fold them around. This ought to be real good there. Some nice chunky mashed potatoes. And if you want them real smooth, you just keep using that masher. I'll well, smooth them out just a little bit more. There we go. That's be real good there. You want to taste them for flavor at this point. Taste them out to a little bit more salt. Try some of that. I'm just tad more of that milk. I add a little bit of cheese to these. I got some Parmesan here. I think that'll give them a little kick. Turn that in. And just let them heat through. That's it. And we're going to make a gravy for this uh, country fried steak. I've got some of that oil left here in this pan. I'm going to add a few tablespoons of flour. Yeah, we'll take about three, four tablespoons. Let's stir that around and just cook this flour. This will make kind of a root. Get all that goodness off the bottom pan, too. Got this flour cooked down in here. I'm gonna put about two cups of chicken broth in there. 
and we'll turn it up a little bit and we'll just heat this up. With that chicken broth in there, I'm also going to put about a half a cup of um, whole milk. Just going to give it that creamy. And we're just going to let this heat up here, just stirring it. And it should thicken up. It's heating up, you can add a little bit of cracked black pepper to it, and also a little bit of salt. Just to season up. I wouldn't add too much salt yet until you taste it. But I do know it's going to need some black pepper. So you know that it's starting to bubble up. And it's starting to simmer. It's starting to thicken up a little bit. That's what we want to see here. Got this whisk out here. and just keep whisking it. Let it thicken up just a little bit more. The mask will have a lot of flavor. there. It's getting a little bit thicker. Just let it cook. It's still bubbling and I keep stirring it. I'm going to go ahead and salt my vegetables over here. I don't think you can see them. Maybe you can. I don't know. I'm going to salt my peas first. Then I'm going to salt my green beans. Get a little bit of salt on them. Taste them. Make sure everything's right. This gravy is almost ready. Now I've got my gravy where I want it. See how it is right there? Not too, too thick, but just coats the back of that spoon. That's what we want right there. We want to get everything together. I'm going to go ahead and make a plate here. Get some of these good black eyed peas over here. Or black eyed purple whole peas, black eyed peas, about the same thing. Put those on there. I'm gonna get some of these green beans. Just on the sausage. These on here. Get some of the can't forget the chicken fried steak. Put that on there. Right like that. Get a little bit of mashed taters. Puncher style. There we go. Look at that. Don't that look nice? Yummy. Now let's get some of that good gravy. Stir it crown. I'm going to put the gravy on the chicken fried steak. I also want to make it a little well and put some on the mashed potatoes. Now that is a hearty country style dish right there. You gotta try. Let's give it a try and see how it tastes. Try this nice country fried steak first. Hmm. 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 Fantastic. Mashed potatoes. Really good. Green beans are phenomenal in the purple holes. Mm -mm -mm. You know there's some good southern home cooking. Just give it a try.